Hey guys, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel and I'm here with another Project Pan update. This is for the This Is Fantasy Project Pan created by Allie from Allie in Wonderland. No, Wonder in Allie Land. I get that wrong every freaking time. Jen? <laughs> Here I go again. Um, this is a project that goes from October 1st, or no, October 11th to October 11th, 2022 to 23. No, 21 to 22. What is wrong with me today? October 11th of 2021 to October 11th of 2022. And this is a project that's supposed to be updated every other month, but I've decided to update it every month. I started this project off with three um, prompts and then decided to roll in three prompts every single time I did an update. And now I have gone through all the prompts. Some of them I finished and they're out of the project and some of them are still in. So let's go over the products that I still have in. If you'd like to see how I did for this path past month, then stay tuned. Okay, for the prompt troll, the description is an ugly creature depicted as either a giant or dwarf dwells in rocks, mountains, or caves known to be master builders. I love this project. Can I say that Allie was very descriptive with her descriptions? And I just love it. I love it. And for that, we were to choose a product with ugly packaging. So I chose this Dr. Paw Paw Balm. This is a multi-purpose soothing balm with natural paw paw, whatever paw paw is. Anyway, I only use it on my lips. It's a reddish tint. I, I don't like this product. I don't know. I'm thinking about just calling it done after this project, but that's not fair. It, it really has a slight tint to it. You can see it a little bit. Um, my goal is to finish it. It only went down 0.1 grams this month. I don't like it. So um, I, I hardly use it. I was using it more when I was in school because I would rotate it in and out, but I don't know. That's going to stay. Well, I'm going to put it over here for right now. Next up, for the prompt fairy, a mythical, mythological being from folklore and romance with human form and magical powers associated with plants in springtime that is a plant or nature themed product. And for that, I pulled in my Flower Beauty um, blush bomb in the shade Pinched. I love this product. And I, ha I realized that through doing this project. I used to think that peachy blushes were for me and pinks and all that. I really think neutrals are, are the way to go for me. Excuse me, I just have my nose itches. Um, my goal was to use it 10 times and I used it 11. I guess I really liked it. So that's gonna be rolling out, but here is a swatch of it. It is just a really pretty natural blush. Um, I, I really like it and I'm gonna continue to use it, just not in this project. So that is rolling out, I'm super excited. The next prompt was for Unicorn. A legendary creature described as a beast with a single large pointed spiraling horn. It symbolizes purity, freedom, gentleness, virginity, innocence, divinity, and magic. Brings signs of good luck, happiness, and a positive omen. It is a brand new untouched product was what we were supposed to bring in. So I brought in the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40. And this is the shade 2.5. Sombrio, Sombrio. I really like this foundation. I am wearing it today, um, but I can't wear this as an all over the face foundation. It's way too light for me. So what I do is I do a really good under the foundation look, like really heavy on, not heavy, but like, you know, it looks funny when you put your um, bronzer, blush, bronzer and blush or contour and blush, um, on your face and then cover it up with foundation. But I find I don't need a ton of this. I really wish I went up a shade. I should have gone to two or to three. I should have gone to three or something, just something a little darker. But I'm not upset about this. I do like the consistency and I like, I've used it four out of the five times that I had it in for. So it is gonna stick around um, another month. It went from 90.25 grams to 89.83 grams. So it did go down. I like it. I'm gonna continue to use it. 
Next up is for Elf, uh, Elf, a humanoid supernatural being with magical powers and supernatural beauty, mischievous or malicious. A product that makes you feel beautiful. And highlighter for me makes me feel beautiful. There's a lot of products that make me feel beautiful, but I love highlighters. Something about it is just beautiful. So for that, I chose my Stila Heaven's Hue Highlighter in the shade Kitten. It's a really pretty pinkish, goldish color. And you can see from my markings, I've been using this in my um, inner corner and brow bone, and I love it. This is a Paula Made Me Buy It. And here is the shade right there. Paula from A Beauty Guru Made Me Do It. So A Beauty Guru Made Me Do It, Paula. Um, I'm not mad at this at all. I've used it three out of the five times and it has not gone down in weight because I've really only been using it for that purpose, inner corner and brow bone. Um, but I'm pleased to have to keep it in and use it a little bit more. The next prompt is Centaur, a creature that is half man and half horse. So for that, you were to choose a duo product. And I chose my Cover Effects Monochromatic Blush Duo in the shade Soft Peach. So here is what this looks like. And I go back and I use both of them at the same time. I don't just use one or the other. I dab my brush into both. So let me show you. Here is the matte and there is the shimmer. And then here they are together so very lovely um, I have used this two out of the five times so that will be staying in as well and I'm not upset with that either for the prompt gnome a dwarfish creature who guards the earth treasures underground the prompt is a gemstone or mineral themed product so for that I chose my Cleona shade in this in the sandblast because you need sand, you, you sandblast to get the minerals out. So here's what I did. If you look at it here, you'll see that it's like greenish. It's, it's dark, it's like gold. And then if you look at it here, it's like red. I love this. I love this shade. So let me see where I, I'm gonna swatch it right there. See, it's like red, but then if you tilt it this way, like green and then it goes gold it's so super pretty I have it on today in my on my waterline not waterline my lower lash line that's typically how I use it or I use it in my outer corner because I'm afraid to use these all over the lid I don't know why I have to practice because I love these clean shades they're gorgeous so I have used this three out of five times and it will be staying in it went from 3.86 to 3.85 grams so I did use it and um, it's gonna stay in a little longer for the next prompt, giant, oversized humanoids known for strength and aggression existed before the gods. This is a product that you loved before the beauty community made it big. And for that, I chose my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Lala. Now, I didn't like this specific product before the beauty community made it big. But for me, I loved cream to powder shadows and I used them when I was in an MLM selling for them and I didn't think there was any other products out there that were similar until I found ColourPop. So I'm very pleased. I had this in to use it five times. I used it six. I still wasn't able to hit pan, but here's the shade there. I really like it. It's very pretty. Um, and sometimes I did use it as a lip topper as well, which, which really worked. I wasn't thinking of doing that. And I might have been able to even use it as a blush topper, but I didn't try it that way either. However, it is rolling out of this project because I have used it the six times instead of the five. For the next um, prompt, zombie, that is a corpse that was supernaturally reanimated, walking dead, decaying, rotting skin, it's hungry for human flesh, and this is a product that is falling apart. And when I brought this in, this is the Glam Light Shadow from the Miracle Palette in Rosa. It does have a little green in it because my niece was a maniac and she um, got green in there too, but I don't care. I'm not mad at that. This is in the shade Rosa, and when I depotted this from the palette, it did break, so I had to repress it, and now it's cracking, so it's even better. I had this in to use five times, and I have used it six, so it is rolling out of this project, and there is a swatch of it right there. It's very, very pretty. I really enjoyed using it in my um, transition area. I have it on today in that capacity. Um, you can see it right up in here and then I have my crease shade under it. I really enjoyed it for that, but that's rolling out. So I'm so excited. I have three things rolling out so far. And then for Goblin, 
That is a monstrous creature believed to be evil, greedy, or mischievous. Brings nothing but trouble to humans. So that's a product that gives you trouble. And for that, I chose my Ofra Corrector Pot in the shade Mint because this was really difficult for me to learn how to use. First of all, it's very, very sticky. See my fingerprint in there? I don't know if you can see that. And then it's very green. Look at that. I mean, it is green. So in order to use it, I have found that I just have to dab it very little bit over that spot of red and then um, really, really stipple it in. And then it's great. I really am enjoying it. I don't have to use as much foundation. Um, I really like it. So that is staying in. I've used it two out of the five times. It did go down from 40.96 to 40.94 grams. So again, the Ofra Corrector Pot in the shade Mint. For the next prompt, Chimera, a fire-breathing female monster with a lion's head, a goat's body, and a serpent's tail. So that is a Franken product. I don't have any Franken products, so I decided to make my own Franken product. And for that, I chose to only, when I do this, when I use these products, I had to use them together to kind of Franken them. So I would put a dab of each on, on my brush and put it on. So I used the Ulta Tinted Sunscreen, which did not, the sunscreen was still good in it, and the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I had to mix them together in order to use them, and my goal was to use them five times. I did manage to use them four times, but this really smells and I am going to declutter it. So for the final time, I'm only gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter because I'm very uncomfortable with putting this on my skin. I've had it for probably a year and I just, I think it smells and I don't wanna use it. So um, this is going bye-bye and this is going to stay in for one more use. I tried, in fact, I'm throwing it in my empties bin again right now. Bye-bye what happens when you don't use your products kind of a bummer um, for basilisk that is the king of serpents magical beast beast bred by dark wizards so we were to choose a dark matte shadow and for that I chose my Sydney Grace um, shadow in the shade evergreen it's very 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 pretty this is the green that Madeline put all over my face to make me a clown and then felt bad um, my goal is to use it five times. I have since used it four. So this is going to stay in. Um, and there is a swatch of it right there. It's very, very pretty. Um, so it's going to stay in. It went from 4.43 to 4.40. I think it's because of Madeline and that's okay. Um, and then the next prompt, Cyclops, a one-eyed giant. So we had to pull in a single shadow. And for that, I chose to pull in the Sydney Grace Queen of the North very pretty cream color. I love this shadow. My goal was to use it five. I've used it eight, so it's rolling out, but I'm not putting it away because I use it every day to set my primer on my eyes. It is just a pretty, like almost for me, skin tone, and it really makes a nice base for my um, other shadows to go over nicely. So that is rolling out of this project. So it's my fourth rollout and um, but it's gonna stay in. In fact, I think I'm rolling it into another product project that's coming in either this month or next month. I haven't decided. So there you go. And then the last prompt, witch or wizard? A person who practices magic derived from supernatural, occult, or arcane sources. So that is a magic themed product. And for that, I chose the Cleona Shadow in the shade Bloodline because these magical creatures have to belong to the bloodline in order to become magical or whatever they are. So here it is, um, here's a shift that way. And then here, I'm gonna shift it, it goes that way. And then it's like pink, it's just, so, oh God, it's like pink to blue to purple. There is a swatch on my finger. I'm gonna go like that so you can see the purple. Isn't that just gorgeous? And then here is a swatch right there. You can see it, purple, pink. Oh, I think Cleona is releasing more shades. I have to ask somebody about that because I am going to be one thrilled girl if I find that out. So yeah, so that is in for five uses. I've used it twice, so it is still staying in this project. I am so thrilled. The reason I wanted to roll in three at a time is so that I had, I really had a good chance of using things um, 
before the finale and really doing a good job in this project because I really, really enjoy it. So I only have left now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine prompts left with very little usages on them. So I might finish this project early, which I'm really, really excited about. I don't think I've ever done that before. So I'm thrilled. So yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you liked me, please consider subscribing and hit that bell so you don't miss any notifications from me. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!